all right wonderful people thank you very much wonderful people honor lion man you are welcome to this wonderful uh, broadcast as you are joining don't hesitate to invite your friends it's very very important that we discuss things that matters to our struggle at the same time things that is happening in that contraption called Daminibu Zoo I have a lot of things to discuss with my people today and I want you all to lend me your ears because it's very very important we always understand the root of our problem because if we don't identify our problem there is no how we can solve it i have a lot of videos to show my people today when you go to the article i just put things that matters to our struggle nigerian judiciary slash obedient family and also magnus oraka once a coward always a coward once you are a coward, you must remain a coward. And the so-called Biafran Liberation Army are falling one after the other. And we are going to see everything. You know, I am not coming here just to talk. But I am coming here to show you the proof so that you will see. They are falling. They are crying. And the, do you know the worst part of it that this Ibirima in Finland won't tell you that these people are falling every single day? They are telling you that 11 people is going to, <laughs> going to, you know, stop the terrorists in army uniform. They are going to hold them still. I keep on asking myself, does it mean that these people have no sense? Like all this thing that I mentioned here is something that we are going to see today. Mazen Namde Okuchukukano is a prisoner of conscience. He's still today in DSS dungeon. And uh, after I introduce myself, we are going to listen to a very short video of Mazen Namde Kano. You know, we have been saying this time with that number. Forget about Igbo presidency. Forget about it. Don't even go there at all because you can never ever rule over the caliphate and uh, the, the, you know the, the, the something about it is like our people don't even know that they are infidel as far as you are not from you are not a caliphate you are not a fulani you are infidel you can never rule over these people you can't they won't allow you to rule over them but we have been saying this some of them won't understand Go back to Amadou Bello. He said it. We are going to use Middle East. We are Middle, Middle Belt. They are conquering territory. The South, the South people. We are going to take over them. We can never allow them to rule over us. And some of you are still waiting to rule over these people. No be juju be that. Now juju now. Now juju. But some of you don't know. Some of you don't know. Now, Juju. <laughs> um, let me introduce myself before I will go further because I don't want to waste time here. All right, wonderful people. Freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on Biafran Television slash IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Okuchukukano. Here I am. I always set the record straight. My name is Mazo Okin Naokechuku, known as the Bia franchise in The General, I salute you all once again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And some of you that are about to sleep, 
I will also say good night to you all. I am here to preach the gospel. I am not coming here to deceive you at all. But always tell you what is about to come so that you can know and get yourself prepared. The question that I want to ask Obi is still is Obi still one Nigeria? Is he still one Nigerianist? Is he what he wants to tell me? They have discharged Obi. But now let us hear what Onyendu said. Mazen Namdekan. Let us hear what he said before we proceed. Because it's very, very imperative that we always know our right from the left so that the full and won't use you. Now let us listen. Listen to what Onyendu said. A very short video from Onyendu, a very short broadcast. Just pay attention and hear what he said. Igbo man, president of Nigeria, Igbo of mad people everywhere. Igbo man, president of Nigeria, Igbo of mad people everywhere. He said, Igbo man, president of Nigeria, mad people everywhere. Now, do you understand? There is no how in this life you can ever rule over these people. We told Obi that he should face what is facing him. Obi said yes. Obi said no. That uh, people are loving him. He's obedient and obedient. What God cannot do is not existing. And today we have seen what happened. Yesterday. Are you learning now or you never learn? Or you are still dying in your ignorance? Is it what you are telling me? My question to be now, have you people learned? You know, the worst part of it is all these bloggers that we have in on uh, in internet, they always deceive our people. They will come and tell you, hey, it's happening now. Share, 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 share. Well, I'm going to read a, just a few of the court of that their judiciary, their court proceeding, or they have already finished it already. Obi is nowhere to be found now. They told Obi that everything that he brought to the court, there is no case on it that Tinubu is the president. We said it, but some of you don't want to understand. Obi is telling you people that he's still going to fight. What is he fighting? I told Obi. He's going nowhere. We told our people, Obi came to deceive a lot of our people in this struggle. At the same time, I still love what happened. But the worst part of it is like our people are not listening and they, are not, they, they, they don't want to learn at all. They don't want to learn the mistake of yesterday so that they can be able to correct it. They are still telling you that uh, things are going to happen. This is the same thing Obi is still promising them today that things is going to happen. Now, my question to Obi, what is that thing that is going to happen? Obi said that they want to go to Supreme Court. What do you think that Supreme Court will do? Tinupu have bought everybody over. He have, he have bought both INEC, bought everything in that country. So how do you think? That is the same thing we have been telling our people. They told us to go and join politics. And we asked them, how many lawmakers do we have in that contraption? Do you know how many lawmakers do you have? Do you know that only Kaduna alone have covered the whole so-called Southeast? So how do you think that you are going to win these people? How do you think? How do you think? When they go to the House of Representatives, the House, their, their, their rep, the House of Rep, they are going to raise their hand up. Majority carries the vote. Only Kaduna alone have already covered the whole so-called South East. So how are you going to get there to be able to rule these people? Even though I said it, even though if Obi get to that seat, if he, if he did not comply, they, will, they are going to impeach Obi within one second. Because they have the majority to impeach Obi to get out from that seat. So he must obey their, 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 their command. 
it does not mean it does not matter who front who is in front it does not matter who is there who is your president but those people that are operating it now you understand we are going to see the video of the of the judgment but it's a pity it's a real pity that such a thing is happening and some people don't even understand now let us see what is happening what happened in that uh, court and uh, we are going to also see see let, let us see what happened in the court let's see the video let's see the video because it's very good we see the video so that you will know so while there is a problem everywhere there is a big problem i'm telling you people that is a big problem it's a big problem okay let us listen to the wait wait is a crime wait wait now we are going let me bring something just one minute my people Okay, I'm here. I'm here back again. <laughs> Let us see what is happening in the court. Obedient, obedient. What God cannot do does not exist. And where is it today? And I call you. When we tell you people something, you have to understand. Uh, when a lot of people they were there is telling you, let us try. What let us try? What are you trying? They have told you that you are not part of them. So what do you think you can? Let us see what happened. Let us see. See. We presented 18,088 blood results. Okay. From the IRA. Then INEC now gave us CTC of results. Okay. From there, we harvested 8,000 123 blood results. Some are some we are completely blank. Some others were pictures of human beings. Some others buildings. Some others you have results that are not pulling units, like what results, local government collection results, and so on and so forth. That is something that should worry yeah, every Nigerian on it. They relied on it to declare somebody. The winner of an election. How can? 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 They are telling you how can a ghost people. They are now telling you that even though the result they presented was blank. They were telling you that they, even though they count a houses as the people that voted them. But when we are telling you people that INEC is APC, the chief judge is APC, which is Fulani, the chief inspector of police is Fulani, the chief general of police army is Fulani, the chief navy is Fulani, the head of police is Fulani. So how do you think you want to double cross these people? How do you think you can do it? This is the question we keep on asking. How do you how do you want to perform this miracle? How? 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 It's a pity that our people don't want to learn. But uh, this is how this is the this is the way of black people. That we keep on saying that we don't even know what is wrong with black people. They rigged the election, Koro Koro, in their face. Obi told them to keep quiet. I was thinking that when they rigged that election, I mean, they selected somebody they want. I was thinking that Obi will go for restructuring. You understand? Call for revolution. 
for people to go on restructuring. He was there going to court. And you people have forgotten that the same court, the church mass in Namdekano, are the same court we are telling those people. There, there, I mean, there is no more case on this man called Mars in Namdekano. But the same man is still today in DSS dungeon. No, they did not talk about that one. They did not. They, I don't know how they, did they think that in their time that the judiciary will favor them. That is some things I always think. How do you think that these people will favor you? They don't even favor your brother that the court have discharged and acquitted. They still hold him there. And you now, OB, that as, as, as an infidel, OB, is, believe you me, there is no two ways about it. This is what they call us. As far as you are not in the same belief with them, you are an infidel. So how do you think you want to rule over them? How do you think you want to double cross these people? But our people won't know. Let us continue and see what happened. Today now they are still telling you God will bless Nigeria. God will do this to Nigeria. God will help Nigeria. Where is that? That is why I keep on saying that we must go and search for the God that created black people. We must go and look for this God where he is and question him. What God does not the uh, uh, what God does not do does not exist. Today, they have rigged you people out. They have trashed Obi, even though they are telling Obi that every the, the case of Obi is end. He's now trying to tell, he's telling you that he's going to what they call it, appeal court. The same appeal court that he had or her won, they brought a hope, was or them what? That is killing and maiming our people today. The same, and the, uh, my question to Obi is this: the man that is going to judge that case in a appeal in a Supreme Court is he not Fulani? Is he not APC? So how do you think that you are going to get favor from this person that you are going? I told Obi, Obi, go and sit down. Go, just go. Don't waste your time. Even though I have told Obi before that it's not his time. Because Nigerian president or those people that there is a lot of people have been waiting. They, this thing is turn by turn. It's turn by just forget about Igbo presidency. Even though if Bola Ahmed Dinubu finished, it will still go back to north. Just write it down that I said this presidency will still go back to north. You can never rule over these people. They prefer the Yorubas that they are Muslim to rule than you. How can you rule them? But some of you won't understand. Some of you. Let us continue and hear what they said. How they are still telling you that Nigeria will work. And we are going to show you the pictures of those people that went to court. They were sleeping. Do you know the reason why they are sleeping? They are tired. Some of them will be asking. So this is. And we saw this thing from the day one. That is why we are telling people that. Nigeria can never be fixed. Nigeria can never work. Nigeria is against humanity. And they must cease Nigeria to exist to save life. A whole drug dealer that even though the German newspaper carried it, they were wondering that how can a drug dealer become a president? Where? Where in the world? If it's not only if it's not Africa, and they, when they saw that this man is a drug dealer, America told you people that Tinubu cannot come to America. After Tinubu won that rigging of election or selected, the same American people came to you know to congratulate him. That is why you see that these people are not interested in what or who you are. They are just interested in the resources that is coming from your land. If Tinubu can open door for them, it does not matter the crime that this man have committed. It does not matter. As far as you can agree with them, as far as you can lay pipeline from uh, from uh, Anambra to New York, he, he, that, that is what they want. If you can lay pipeline from uh, from uh, coastal region of Biafra to 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 Maryland, 
is good for them. That is exactly what they want. So there is no how you can stop these people. That is why we keep on saying that we are fighting different phases of war. Don't think that it's Fulani are holding you. There is a lot of world powers that they are beneficiary of that of your resources. And these people can never let go. Now you understand. They don't care about you as a human being. They don't care about your living. They just care about your resources. That is why today in, in, in Niger Republic, they, the Niger people are telling France to leave their land and go. France is there telling you they must stay by fire, by force. So just imagine if it's not about the resources. If it's not about what they are gaining. You are in another man's land. The man told you, pack your properties and leave. You are telling him that uh, we are your colony and uh, we must tell you what to do. We must give you guidelines. How do you think that France wants to give Niger a guideline? What are you guiding them? What are you telling them? What is it not to be extorting their mineral resources? Tell me. Tell me. Just tell me. Only Africa only africa our money the money we are using today if the european did not tell you how your money will be there is no how you can do it then we still tell you go and bank your money in swiss bank but tomorrow they will tell you that swiss is a peaceful place it's a most uh, the the most uh, peaceful country but they are accepting the 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 the, the stolen money from africa to keep it they will tell you bring it we are going to help you to, to, to keep it in the bank. They are telling us to bring our reserve. Our reserve that's supposed to be in our place. No, they will tell you to bring it in Europe. That is what France is doing to all these Francophone countries. Their reserve is in France. How can you tell me that your own reserve money will be in the uh, uh, Bank of France? And their own is also in their bank. Why can't they bring their own to Africa? No, they won't do it. Because you know what? We are lesser human beings. That is how they see us. And we will keep on saying this. If you like, you believe, you feel like. Forget that we are living in Europe. Yes, it's a grace that some people are good. They allow us to stay. But when you come in politics, oh boy, you are nobody. They will keep on using us. Now, the Niger people, they, they are occupying their embassy. And the, the Macron is feeling the heat. Believe you me, Macron, he's, he's seeing that these people, they are ready to take the bull by the horn. They are ready to take over their land. They don't want to remain in that slave again. And that is how it's supposed to be. Just imagine that somebody will come and tell you, eh, this is the money we map up for you, for you to use in your country. If you go beyond that, we are not going to accept it. Every day they are reducing your money. They are the people that are going to resist. They will make your money like what is going on today in that contraption. They will make one one dollar or one euro to become one thousand naira. By that time, your money is just useless. Now you will keep on depending on them. That is why they will come and tell you that we are, uh, you know, we are speaking for you people. Without us, you can't live. And you have forgotten that this slave trade. And this colony it have been a long time ago. Why can't you allow those people to stay and develop their own? Allow them to live. They say no, we can't allow them. We must be their 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 their, well, their master. Now let us finish the, the judiciary of Peter. Yes. Now I don't know yes. whether the judiciary of What is about to happen in Nigeria? What is about to happen? Nothing. Nothing. I'm speaking in low tone. Nothing. Because of the way I feel about what is happening in our nation. That's why I will really plead with you to patiently watch this broadcast up to the end. Yes. 25th of February was the day that democracy was stripped completely naked, rendered useless and ineffective. I don't know why we are still saying that we are running a democracy. We are living in a nation where the rule of law does not hold or stand, where we celebrate criminality, where people will steal, where thieves and corrupt people are
are celebrated and given places of authority. But Mazen Nam the Tana had been saying this now. You don't have to win an election to rule or govern, to be a president, a senator, a house of rep member, to be a governor, to be a chairman of a local government council, or whatever kind of elected position in Nigeria. One would think that in this 21st century, that people should be advancing, not going backward. But it is so sad that in our nation, Nigeria, the opposite is the case. Our nation is not going to Nigeria is that that that, 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 well, hold on, hold on. Oh, let, let us pause it there. Pause it there, pause it there. Pause it there. Where is the, why this thing cannot pause now? Before they will carry all these advertisements, come here. He said their nation, Nigeria. We are telling you that Nigeria is not a nation. Nigeria was amalgamated by Fedra, Frederick Rugard from Scotland. Nigeria was a business adventure. If I'm saying this, some of you will say, one Nigeria, we love it. No, listen to me. Nigeria, just go back to your history. You will see that when they formed Nigeria, Nigeria, when they came, they came as a trade. They came to trade with, with Niger Royal Company. That is what they call it. And do you know that even though that Royal Niger Company sold Nigeria to British people, they sold Nigeria to British people. Do you know that? Do you know that when they want to amalgamate Nigeria, none of your grand, great-grandfather was there. None of your... Uh, uh, forefathers was there. They were telling you that uh, uh, go, uh, what did they call it? Uh, Amodu Bello, uh, Zeke, and uh, Awolowo were the founding father. How old was these people when they amalgamated Nigeria? Zeke was four years old. Awolowo probably he's a three years old. Amodu Bello, probably, maybe he's a five years old. So how can you call these people your founding father? How can you call them their, your founding father? Why they are... So, you want to tell me that Zeke were there when they were discussing about the amalgamation of Nigeria? You see, we have to always tell ourselves the truth. All these people were young. And you can never say, you can never say that a person that was three years old we are your founding father. No, you can't call him a founding father because he was not there on the round table when they were discussing this issue. So to show you that when they were, you know, bacchanizing Africa, none of us were there. That is why they keep on, you know, stolen from us up to date. Now let us continue listening to, to this man because I hate it with passion when somebody will call Nigeria a nation. And you see that nothing is happening. What they have in Nigeria is selection. Nothing like election. We, we sing it as a, as, a, as a, I mean, those people that are singing praises in a church of that the damnable zoo called Nigeria. That church is everywhere. You can, in a one street, in just in a one building, you can find seven churches and things are getting wrong every single day. We tell you people, these people are not worshipping that God you think. These people are just worshipping Lucifer. Because how can you have in a street almost 30 churches and things are getting wrong every single day? Now you understand it. So, if you think that Nigeria will be fixed, we sing it, we told you people that your PVC is nothing. Your PVC can never count. Our people say, oh, be that, oh, be that. We, are, we, are, we have taken over. We are OB movement. We are telling them which movement you are. You are in a nonsense movement. And they are going to rig you people out. And you are not going to do anything. That is exactly what is happening today. After the rig will be out. Obi went to London. And they tell him to keep quiet. And he keep quiet. They tell him to go to, 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 to court. And remember. That Tinubu told them. If you think. That I did not want the election. Go to court. And now they went to court. And what did the court said? They are failure. <laughs> now let us continue. What this man is saying. Insecurity. 
iniquity, yes. nepotism, yes. and every evil that has befallen the nation. Especially the young people, they went out in their millions. And in the history of Nigeria, yes. this was the first time that we saw this kind of mass mobilization among the young people. Yeah. But the establishment were at it again. They were yeah. not going to let go of their grip on power. Because with the power comes the money. 25th of February was when democracy in Nigeria was publicly raped. Okay. Many people were disenfranchised. People lost their lives. Some even lost their source of livelihood. It was a time where people were being told, if you want to continue to live here and run your business, you must vote for a certain person and a certain party. And people were even told that even though you have registered to vote in this polling unit, but if you're not voting for a certain candidate and the name that kept coming out was Tinubu and APC, if you were not going to vote for Tinubu of APC, you were told not to even show up at the polling station. What did you people did you about it? Up, it could be the end what of did you life. people so do? A lot of people stayed people away. Are just, and people, people are just ranting. The courageous young people and other citizens, they were just tired of this reign of tyranny. So they risked their lives and went out to cast their vote. Many of them were chased, some of them beaten, and some places they seized ballot boxes, burnt them, and some, they took them away. And the sad thing was that some of them were aided by the policemen, the ones that were supposed to ensure that there was security. They were being used as instruments to disenfranchise. Are you sure? After the elections, people were waiting for the declaration of the election. Sadly, people yes. were in bed when the chairman of the Independent Electoral Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, Announced Tinubu as the winner okay. of 2023. Well, what a joke. People thought it was a joke. What a joke. Did not what a joke. For this man. How did it all happen? And so they wanted to challenge it. What God cannot do never exist. Party. That and is how it happened. PDP went to court because they were already told if you don't like the outcome or the result that was announced, then go to court. Oh. So what did they do? They went to court. Okay. Presented their cases. And I've then? never seen such a detailed presentation with evidences. Boxes of election results were brought to the courts. Different witnesses were brought. They argued their cases. And it was so obvious to every Nigerian and even people from abroad that this is a simple case. And when it was time for their defense, the lawyers of ABC and Tinubu did not do any homework. They just came with a very, very shallow presentation. People were wondering, why would they be so relaxed, if not because they already have a plan? And so Nigerians were still watching, and then came the slogan, all eyes on the judiciary. All eyes on the judiciary. And people were all saying, we want the judiciary for once to do the right thing. And so we all waited and waited and waited to see what will happen. And you people will keep on waiting. Written. Songs were written and signed. Different people came up with hashtag yes. all eyes on the judiciary yes. thinking that that will help touch the judiciary to ensure that there is justice Una and so never Nigerians be. kept waiting when will the judgment be a few days ago yes. we were told that the 6th of September is going to be the day that the judgment will be made and so Nigerians are all having their fingers crossed so many people are tensed up. Ah, yeah, what will the approach. judgment be? But when you see the body language of so many of the people that are in APC and are around Tinubu, to them, this is already a walkover case. That's why they're not bothering. And that's why people like us made calls earlier. 25th of February, as I said, was the day that democracy was raped publicly. We kept calling that the swearing in should be suspended. And there should be an interim government pending the outcome of the case. Since Peter Obi and Atiku have gone to court, some people criticize us and they say, why are you calling for them? Let them go to court. And if it does happen that they win the case, then the sitting president will have to vacate his seat. But we said, it's not so easy knowing somebody like Tinubu. That's why we kept saying, don't swear in Tinubu. He's going to buy up the judiciary. And hasn't he done? Something is about to happen when... 
the judges, the five judges will be given their judgment. Upholding Tinubu's presidency will be basically speaking to this generation of young people and upcoming generation. That you can forge certificate, you can make false declarations on that oath, you can lie, you can cheat, you can bribe, you Uh, we are going to stop it here. Now, have you now see how useless Nigerian judiciary is? Do you now see that people so much lament? They are not taking action. They are just lamenting every single day. Nigerian died in 1963. That is when Nigeria died. I mean this... Uh, that amalgamation. They say that they shouldn't swear uh, Tinubu in. And uh, when Tinubu won the election, I keep on asking people, so do you think that Tinubu will allow you? Tinubu that keep the secret not to expose the dead Burare? Tinubu that fought that even though they don't want to give Tinubu a, a ticket to primary election, he came out and he challenged the Fulanese. At the end, they give him a ticket. After they give Tinubu ticket, they also come, uh, you know, on the ground world, you know, trying to give him a stud that he can never, he can never get them. Tinubu came back and told them, Emilo Kon, now my turn. And there is nothing any one of you can do about it. We told our people that your PVC can never count. We told our people that it does not matter. We told them that even though P2B have no structure, they say it's a movement. My question to P2B today, where is his stand? Where he stand? Of course, I know that this team... You know, allow our people to, to understand how the system of Nigeria runs. But the question today is, have our people learned? Or they are still, you know, believing on, in all this uh, imagination and the uh, illusion that someday, one day, they are going to remove Tinubu and bring Pitobi. That is some mentality I want to, I want it to go away from our people. Stop thinking so. As far as Tinubu have become your president, there is not... Just imagine that Atiku went to court. Atiku won Bugare. He went to court. He keep on going to court till the dead Bugare rule his tenor. And now, you are telling me that Tinubu that knew that Bugare have died will now accept anybody to come and take his position. Nah, you people, I don't know what is wrong with you people. That is something I don't even understand. That you people don't want to learn. Now, I want to show you people, people that went to court. They are sleeping now. When you go to court and see what is going to happen, you are going to be sleeping. Now, I want you to see people that were, was in the court. Nigerian judiciary. They are tired now because they know that so this thing that we IPOB and Mazen Namdekan have been saying is a true. Of course, we always bring authentic information. We always preach the gospel. We have learned Nigeria. We study Nigeria as a book that nothing can happen in that country. As far as Fulani are still there, as, as far as Fulani is still controlling every major high ranking in, in Nigeria, there is no how you can ever double cross these people. Fulani owns Nigeria. I keep on saying this. We keep on some people will say no, uh, you are slave. Some people will telling you no. How are we slave? But I can travel. I can come back. I can go to Lagos. I can. That is not the kind of slave we are talking about. We are talking about mental slavery. See the kind of slave that we have today is not the, the kind of slavery that we have in 400 years ago that they are going to put shame on your neck, on your... No. 
If Fulani can control army, police, navy, air force, military, that, is, that means that they, they own the country. They own it. And at the end, what they says, we go. Forget about you. You know, sometimes some people will be asking you does, when you are saying that they are going to take over Nigeria by uh, a, a Islamic or by Fulanization. Does it mean that we are not going to have a church? Of course, you are going to have a church. You will have a church. But the problem is, who are those that is controlling all of them there? So you don't know that in, a, in Iran, they have church there. So you don't know. Who are those people that are controlling that churches? Whatever they tell them to do is exactly what they are going to do. Mental slavery. Not physical one that you can see now. They have already upgraded it. Let us uh, see those people in, uh, in the court because they are sleeping. They are sleeping. Nigeria, Nigeria, Nawa. See them. They are sleeping. Nigeria, my country. Nigeria, your country. Sam. Yes. You see now. You see now. You know the reason why they are sleeping. I don't appreciate civil ruling. Because it's rubbish. You know the reason why they are sleeping. Do you know the reason why they are sleeping? They are tired. We have been telling them. And uh, as it stands today, the same bloggers, I saw them. I don't want to, you know, bring in these people into my program. I still saw them. They were shouting, yes, now, another new dimension. OB have sued them to Supreme Court. Ah, we are waiting for Supreme Court to, to, to give the final. We, we, we are going to all, oh, we are going to take this mandate by fire, by force. We are going to do it. We are the youth. Obedient to be that. I ask them, the Supreme Court that you are going, who is the chief judge in Supreme Court? Who? You know, sometimes I don't think that you people are understanding our preaching every single day. To let you people understand that there is no how you can ever, you know, be in that position if the full and don't want and those people are the people that are behind them. We had it there uh, during the time Obi Obi after they, they read the election. Obi run 440 to, 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 to London. You see the bloggers, yeah, Obi have run there. They have discussed with Obi. They are coming now to take over Tinubu. Oh, Tinubu is a drug dealer. I tell them, my oh boy, go and get your seat. Go and put your ass down. Forget all this, your nonsense. You know nothing. I think Wim Bugari, Bugari is there. He had your her one, uh, the, 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 the killer of his own people. He comes there. So what are you telling me? What, what are you telling me? How do you think that this thing can happen? How do you think you can make miracle overnight? Now, I want to tell you about one, a man called Oraka. And once a coward is always a coward. You can, he can never change. Oraka is a very useless known entity. Oraka is a very stupid known entity. He knows nothing. And that is why he will keep on, you know, you know, begging. Because that man is a beggar. Even though during the time that we are trying to, you know, bring him into IPOB, every single day this man is only begging, begging for money. He also joined Peter B to help Peter B to campaign. Every day you he will see him asking money. He said all the whole campaign that he did, people are the ones that are funding him. He, this man has nothing. A beggar. A beggar. And he has no choice. 
He has no choice. And I'm going to show you people a video when this idiot were threatening the Igbo people. That, uh, of course, there is something that he say about the Ibirima. It's true. But uh, when we are telling him that this thing that you are talking about is not going to work. Now, the man has changed because he's a beggar and he can never stop begging. Now, I want us to see that oraka. Oraka. And we are going to see also his latest video. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know when these people will learn. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I keep on asking myself. Just wait, 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 wait. Let us see the video of Oraka. You people will hear what that Oraka said. A stupid nonentity. A madman that knows nothing. Ongo kai kai. He knows nothing. They have begun to bend their their wig. Judiciary, the lawyers in Nigeria, they are begin to bend their wig. Una never start. Una go still born una that una ngongo da hu nei. Where is this uh, stupid oraka? Where is him? Where is him? See him here. Stupid oraka. A very stupid man. Very very stupid. See him here. See his face. You see what will be there? Always, once a coward, always a coward. Once a coward, always a coward. And he can never change. Now pay attention to Oraka. Look, Simon Neba, I got a very, very good intelligence that Tinubu sent money to you to do what you are doing. You know very well that what you are doing will not hold ground. But you are part of those that are going to contribute reasons for the elections to be delayed. I have it in very, very good convincing evidence that Tinubu sent you Simon Epa money to be doing what you are doing. I saw your videos at the beginning of this uh, Biafra thing that you are doing. I saw how lean you are. Now I've seen how grown your cheeks have become. Yeah, that one is true. That one is true. It's true. Two different your Biafra concept is fraught with the mindset of making money out of people's suffering. And you too. Yeah, this guy and someone, everybody at the same. time that the rest of Nigerians are loving the Igbos, at the time the rest of Nigerians are willing to vote for Igbos, you choose this time to come out with your Biafra, which means all along the Biafra concept has been an agenda for an Igbo supremacist. At the time where people from Borno are coming out to vote for your brothers, I was in Bauchi. People came out in their hijab, in their jalabia, in their distance, people of northern extraction coming to vote for your own people. I was in Adamoa. Muslims and people from every sphere of life came out preparing to vote for, for your brother. I am in Plateau State. Everybody in Plateau State are geared to vote for your brother. Everywhere in Nigeria, I'm prepared to vote for your brother. You choose this time to be talking about curfew, sit at home, and all of that. Let me tell you, and I'm saying this clearly, I'm not saying this without bias, I'm saying it from the depth of my heart. If, end of the day, God forbid, Peter B does not win, and it turns out that the evils betrayed their brother. Let me tell you the truth. And you come out to say, eh, we want Biafra, we want Biafra. And war breaks out. I will tell you seriously that we will all be against you. I will tell you seriously that it will so shock you that we will be against you. Because rather than fight for a common problem that affects all of us, you chose to fight for yourself. You chose to look at your own interests. We have a people that are dominating and controlling the whole country. Everybody is suffering it. The, 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 the Benue State is suffering. Taraba State is suffering. 
at Trina State. You saw everybody, you're not the only ones suffering the ego. Besides, you're not even. Can you compare the life of an evil man to the life of Christians that are being killed every day in Southern Kaduna? Can you compare the life of an evil man to the Christians that are being killed every day in Borno State? Can you compare the life of an evil man to the life of people in Mubi, people in Mubi State, uh, Mubi, in Adamant State? Pay attention to the idiots. Come on. We have to be one. The only way these people can split us, when they, the only way these people can divide us is when they split us. So we have to be one. Let this be a fratin. Chill for now. I'm not saying to, I'm not saying to, please get me right. I'm not saying don't fight for Biafra. But you have to be perfectly strategic in what you are doing. Right now, it's a bad time to be talking about Biafra. Absolutely bad time. We are almost winning. Let it not be that it is almost we winning. Almost. that defeated ourselves, not our enemies. If, however, we have done everything right, the Igbos came out 100%, at, at least near 100%, to support the presidency of Peter Obi. We all saw it, that Peter Obi overwhelmingly win the Southeast, or won the Southeast. And, well, at the end of the day, he is declared, or evidence shows that Peter Obi won this election. And for some reason, they have refused to give him election. Let that time come. You will know whether you know how to fight for Biafra or not. That's all I ask. That's all I'm saying. But please don't make the problem of Nigeria as, as if it's about evils. The reason why Biafra is failing is because you Biafra. Now, do you now understand the reason why I said a coward always a coward? Once a coward remains a coward. You hear, I, I hope every one of you hear what this man said. If, but now the question is, is the whole people from so-called eastern region of Biafra voted p The answer is yes. Did Obi won this election? The answer is yes. Did they rig the election? The answer is yes. Did we tell these people that your PVC can never count? The answer is yes. Did we tell these people that in Nigeria what they have is selection after the election? The answer is yes. <clears throat> you see how they always deceive people. This man said, now with all these things that I said here, is it in black and white that every Igbo man voted P2B. Let me say 90% of people voted P2B. Even though the, some Fulanese that they won changes in that contraption, they voted P2B. Even though people from the West voted P2B because they won change. But we are telling them there is nothing like change. There is no how you can fix Nigeria. There is no how Nigeria can be repaired. It is already gone. You are just seeing things that you don't illusion. And the man said, later if we confirm that everything happened according, now wait, we are going to show you how to fight for Biafra. They leaked the election. The man came out and threatened people, threatened the Nigerian uh, military and all. Uh, when they give him a call, he came back again and began to apologize that, please, you make forgive me. I did not say this. So I did not say that. Too. Now we are going to listen to the latest video of this idiot called Oraka. We are going to listen to this known entity that is a, this man is a complete beggar. And that is why I'm saying to you all, I don't know what, I know, I, I, I keep on asking. Does it mean that those people that find themselves in that Nigeria don't have sense at all? You are the one that are here contradicting yourself. You are the one that said, if such a thing happen, we are going to, you know, join hands together to fight for Biafra. Now, yesterday have come and gone. Obi is nowhere to be found. 
Ob is already gone. His own is gone. There's, they are not going to talk about Pete Ob again. His own is gone. If he like, let him go to a bigger court that is more than Supreme Court. If there is none, Ob his own is gone. They have already judged the case. It's already end. Now I want you people to listen to the latest video of this stupid oracle now. That to show you that. Nigeria, they are these people you can't trust them. The same thing is what happened to that man that have Rasta before that barbed his hair. They were telling you if you give him a man a president, it, it, there is nothing they can they can't fix it. There is nothing can happen. And when Obi came out, the man joined Peter Obi, begin to tell you there is a chance of winning the election. There is a chance for Igbo presidency. The same that that man oh. That is why I'm telling you, I, I, uh, is it Wale Shoyinka? Wale Shoyinka that told you that Nigeria, today they are uh, in politics. The same Tinubu that told you that Nigeria is gone, Nigeria is, the same man is, I don't know the reason why it's like, I don't know why these people cannot just reason. Let us listen to Ra uh, Oraka, the latest video of Oraka. Hi, nah man. I don't know. 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 I don't know what is wrong with Nigerian people. I don't know the reason why that these people cannot. I don't. It seems that these people are not seeing what we are seeing. They are not seeing what we are seeing. Where is this uh, stupid oraka? Where did I put this video of oraka now? Where? 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 Where is this video? I save it. I save the video. I save the video. I will bring the video so that you people will see. See, I might have it. The latest video of Oraka. Then I, nah, you know, there is some things I'm seeing in people of, I mean, those people that find themselves in that contraption. Believe you me, there is something that is controlling people there. There is something different that is controlling people. That they will say something now, tomorrow they will change. That is why you see Mazen Nam, they cannot never change. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. You must stand in what you believe. It does not matter that somebody else come tomorrow and you are seeing the person as a messiah. No, don't see the person as a messiah. Remains in what you believe. Remains in what you stand. That is when you are going to get what you are looking for. Not that tomorrow somebody else come out and you are seeing him like what Peter B did, you think that Peter B go, is going to take the position. We told you people, Peter B can never get there. Now, pay attention to Oraka. Yeah, hello, you know me. Mr. saw a very known entity. Once, once a coward, always a coward. See his latest video and see where he's vomiting. Oh, oh, oh. I know you. I have never at any point in time advocated for violence, a advocated coward. for division, advocated for anything that is uh, negative or retrogressive. And what is happening? But with what is happening at the pet petition tribunal, I can confidently say that there is no need for Nigeria. This okay. is not a country. Uh, I'm not saying do anything, but uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I will never come on this channel to support one Nigeria. I'm reading the ruling from Abba with all the idea that uh, uh, the, the, the cameras are not even shooting the judges. Uh, in fact, a, I'm disappointed in this country. I will never talk about Nigeria again. Whatever it is that is necessary that you think it is the right thing to do, please do. But this is not a country. That the useless uh, judge was saying that, uh, uh, that Peter B could not even specify where and where election were rigged. A 70 years old man, 70 years old man, just imagine that we, I, I, I mean, Oraka. Men looking at Oraka, you will know that Oraka seniored me. Men looking at Oraka, you will know that Oraka cannot be my father. He will be like my elder brother. 
if I, this man claims that he's a learned person, that is why we keep on saying this. You see, read and write or copy and paste by speaking all these, you know, phonem, vocabularies that you have already copied and climbed in your head and begin to bring it one after the other. Some people will say, he speaks very well. He's a spoken person. He, his English is furnished. I keep on asking you, do you think that English is your language? Is English your language? You know, there is something about, even though when you see all these media rooms in Nigeria, those women, you will see sometimes when they are speaking, these people never traveled to America before. They never traveled to B B Britain before. But whenever they are speaking their English, they are trying to, you know, copy all this oral English. Then you ask them, are you an English woman? So why do you try to put yourself in a position that you want people to see you that you are speaking your phone without making a mistake. That is exactly the way people see this idiot called Oraka. He will go and climb, you know, all this BB grammar. You will think that this man has sense. If Oraka, if I can teach Oraka that Nigeria can never work, if I can teach Oraka that the beginning of that election, Igbo presidency, that an Igbo man can never rule as an infidel, Oraka can even reason as old as he is. Now, the same thing that we have been telling these people 2020, the same thing, the same idiot is repeating today. He's telling you that he's done one, one Nigeria. Tomorrow now, another person now will change clothes. You know, Obina have a, a white clothes. Maybe tomorrow now, somebody else will come as P2B with another, you know, clothes, another pattern. The same idiot will still join them and tell you that we are going, we are taking over. <laughs> you see the problem of those people in Nigeria. They think that they can change things. They think that an individual can just change things. Now he's telling you he can never advocate for Nigeria again. He, should, he will never talk about Nigeria. Wait and see. Tinubu is about to finish his four years. Next four years, you will see CDC idiot come out. Write it down. That is, that is, that is, most of the time I'm saying there is, there is something wrong with those people in that contraption. Or there is something, uh, something that is not God or Shukotika is not the person that created the European people created us. We never consist in what we believe. We never stand in something that are going to give us our... We never stand on this. The same this idiot now, you will see him tomorrow. He will come out. He will come out to campaign again. And when he will still come out, he will still be promising you the same thing that uh, this one is going to do better. The other one is not going to do better. Is it the same... This man that was telling us in 20... Ending of 2022 to the election that if we we did what we're supposed to do in that election and Peter B won and the, if it's clear that Peter B won the election and they rigged the election that they are going to support Biafra where is the man now do you now see that these people don't have boss or cause they can't even stand uh, it, it, they will speak today tomorrow they will forget what they have already spoken now let us listen to Oraka oh Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nigeria. I'm sorry. I'm, I, you know, I'm just saying this, but I, we have no you people. So, Father, are you telling me in Plateau State that, uh, that, that the, 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 the election I next declared in Plateau State is a true re reflection of what happened? I'm so disappointed. Yes. I'm so disappointed. Now, let me quickly make a disclaimer right now. Disclaimer. That this video... It's not urging Nigeria to go into war, hey. to riot, or to protest. <laughs> but I want to say categorically yes. that I am not a Nigerian. You are not a I Nigerian. I am also not a Biafran. No. Okay. Uh -huh. But this Nigeria cannot stand you as one the way it is. The lesson to be learned from this thing is that people can actually employ criminality and dare those that are robbed to go to court because they know the court will deliver this type of blatant, bare-faced, hypocritical judgment. But we said it. I am so ashamed. This is not a time to be a Nigerian. I am very, very disappointed. Okay, let's see Whatever it is that 
you think whatever it is that is going to your head now yes and you think it's the right action to take yes that's okay fine uh -huh. for me but i'm not asking you to do anything you are mad i just watch the the, the 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 ruling and i'm like god please tap me if i'm dreaming so that i can wake up you are not dreaming it's reality tap me if reality. i'm ruling so that i can wake up in a country where asari dukubo has marched people to abuja blatantly these are thugs these are ro rogues parading themselves and nothing is going to happen to them then the likes of us who are observing the rule of law observing peace doing what is necessary yet we are afraid to be arrested even this video i'm, I'm making i'm sure that i probably would be arrested they have to if arrest i'm you, arrested sir. i know that at least i'm arrested for the interest of nigeria you're a madman i but thought what you, you I, said that you are not nigeria very, again, you very 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 disappointed this is by far the most ignominious state, the most depressing state, who the most retrogressive Nigeria? state who, 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 that Nigeria who, 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 has ever found itself. Where is British people? Nigeria can never be in this backward. I spent my years arguing and fighting against pro proponents of Biafra saying that uh, they don't know what they are stupid at that, that, blah, blah, blah. But how can you not ask for a country to split with this type of bare-faced, open-hearted, uh, skewed judgment. A coward, Even a coward. when we said all eyes on the judiciary, they still couldn't respect the wishes of the masses. Once a coward, you, are going a to, coward. you want to uphold Tinubu's vote when the, the whole international... In fact, this is the last straw. This is the last straw. Unfortunately, this is the last straw. This is the last straw. Because we know that the executive is compromised, the legislature is compromised. Our hope was okay, let's see if the, uh, the, the judiciary is not compromised. This is purely an attempt to redefine Nigeria to be an Islamic country. So you know, purely. We are the same this. They will arrest this man very soon. Purely. Soon. They this have is an to attempt him. to redefine our state and rename Nigeria to. An Islamic country. They have to arrest him. And all these judges, when just Sugo resigned, I wondered why he didn't take it up to continue. This is so bad. I've not been following. I've not been. I've not been following the judges. So, but I just let me quickly go to Facebook and see if uh, something new. And I'm. I'm hearing that uh, uh, they've thrown Peter Obi's petition out. How can you throw Peter Obi's petition out? How can? How? A man that Nigerians came out wholeheartedly to vote for, and you say you are throwing it out. It's a shame. If, if you're a lawyer, uh, Rafi, your father, God punish you with a grace. Your father. Rafi, Abudu, your father. Abdul Salahu, your father, God punish you. Oh, boy, speak. Don't be cussing people. You are your father, and your father, they supposed to be calling your father. Useless set of human beings. <laughs> Is this the country you want us to stay with you? I will be the one producing the oil. You will be, you'll be eating. Then you are saying that I will be feeding the country, but I can't rule the country. Split Nigeria now. I will not run. Okay. I'm not going to run. He, I'm, he, I'm, I'm in Joss. I live in Rukuba Road. Oh, boy, you have taken that's wrong. my address. Come you, and pick me at Joss. It is better to stay in a cell than to live in this country. You mean I'm? This, this is not a country. And please, if you have money, you are staying abroad and you can take me out of this hellhole. Please help me. I'm sick and tired of this nonsense. Nobody this is help just you rubbish. Me. We cannot call ourselves Nobody a country. Nobody help you. You will, you will die a one group of people have the one power Nigerian. to buy the legislative by the judiciary and by the uh, executive. This is not a country, and I feel so. I feel sorry. You know, there is no time, no time. I have come to this channel and propagate violence. I have never done that. You know, I've never done that. But with what has happened, I'll only be stupid to say that we should continue like this. Yeah. No wonder they tell you go to court. If you are not satisfied with the rule, go to court because the court will be like this. Nonsense. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Let me count those that are, if you insult me, I block you. Imagine 
Imagine if it is if it is the South that rigged this election, the country will be in war. But imagine saying a Christian and rigged this thing, war for one day. Uh -huh. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just so I'm just so disappointed. You can't. You must. You, 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 you if I come online again, I'm not going to talk about Nigeria. You eh? Because I strongly believe that Nigeria is not worth it. You mean I it? I want to talk to all those Biafra, all those Igbo people that have said uh, Nigeria is a zoo, that I tried to be politically correct, try to redefine. I'm very sorry for my, my decision. I was only trying to act more matured, but truly, truly, uh, a zoo, uh, Nigeria is a jungle. <laughs> hey. <laughs> they need to arrest Nigeria this man. is a jungle. And, and clearly, you people if it to is arrest possible, this man, oh. arrest him, oh. say Nigeria is a zoo. Arrest him, South, South. Arrest should him, come oh. together and negotiate Arrest him. We can come together. Not this Biafra of Namdikano, not that Biafra of Namdikano, <laughs> not, that, not that Biafra, not that one. I'm not a, I still remain, I'm not a proponent of Biafra. Biafra, Biafra of Simon Ekba, Biafra of Namdikano is an Igbo expansionist agenda. I, uh, I, I, I am not in support of Namdi Kanu's Biafra. I'm not in support of Simon Ebas Biafra. Oh boy, but, shut up your mouth. Shut up your shut, me sure, shut up your stinking mouth. Shut up your mouth, you idiot. Shut up your mouth. A non entity. Just an an idiot. So today you know you want to apologize to 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 those people that are talking about Biafra. Now you you get to understand that. Uh, Biafra is the, is the way. Now you understand as old as you are. As old as you are. And you claim that you are an educated person. That is why I keep on saying, telling people, whenever you see all these people that are speaking BB grammar, run away from them. They don't think. They don't think at all. Sometimes you will see people now. I will, now I'm residing in Germany here. I'm trying to, you know trying to speak more German than English. Because here that I'm residing today, English is just nothing. Nobody cares if you speak English. Some people will come and tell you, you don't know how to speak. Why should I speak English? Why should you begin to wait for people to speak a very good grammar or blow grammar before you will think that these people have something upstairs? Just imagine a man that said that Biafra is a this, Biafra is that. We don't, the same man now is telling you that he's coming to apologize to us. You know, I don't even understand. But it's okay. It's okay. It's the system. And that is why I keep on saying that I don't know what created us. But why should I say so? It's the British people that created us. By Frederick Rugard. If you don't know, I want you to begin to know. They have pushed P2B out. P2B is already gone. It's not coming back. Now you understand. The man told you that he's not going to talk about Nigeria again. Um, I'm calling Nigerian uh, police and army. They need to get this man arrested. They need to get Oraka arrested by saying that Nigeria is a jungle, that Nigeria is a zoo. Somebody should look for this man to, to put him in jail. Because I don't know how can he say that Nigeria is a zoo. How? He, he, he trying to, he campaigned last year, or yeah, this uh, last year, 2023, he campaigned for one Nigeria. Now he turned around and telling you that Nigeria is, they need to get this man arrested. They shouldn't allow this man to be walking in the street of Nigeria. They should not. And they should tag him and I want you people to tag him here. Nigeria is a, is a, is a man-made. Now, I want to tell you people, Eberima, Nigerian Liberation, uh, so is it Nigeri Nigerian Liberation Army, because it's not a Biafran Liberation Army. These people are double agent. They are falling one after the other. And I'm going to show you people. Eberima can never show you people this video. I told you people we are going to walk. We are going to do everything humanly possible to make sure we get every of their Appian way. 
that we make sure that we get them where they are. They are, they are falling. They are falling. They are falling. Of course, they are falling. And we are loving it. As they pain them. Now, so it is with us. They are falling. Believe you me, they are falling heavenly. And we have this. I'm going to show you their, how they are falling. And their camp, we have discussed. They ha all of them have taken four forts. All of them have run away. Nowhere to be found today. But I won't tell you people this. Tell them to come out and make a video again. In that place they are. Tell them to come and make video. We have already occupied that place. We told you people. You can never come out and be. You see, I want you people to ask yourself a question. Why does he be say anytime Mazen Namde cannot want to go to court? That is when Simon Eber will begin to parade all this his, all this his criminality. Those people that their frontal lobe is not working. Ask yourself that question. They begin to circulate a video, they kill a soldier. Why is that when Mazen Namde cannot want to go to court? The same thing they did when they killed a pregnant woman. Why is that? Ask, the question is, I'm asking you people. Simon Eber say he's a powerful. Why can't he do all this thing on the ground? Why was he, why he have to begin to showcase all this, his criminality on social media? Tell me, now you don't want to, you, you don't want to use your common sense to understand there is something behind all these things. Anytime that Mazen Namdekan want to go to court, that is when you will begin to see them. We are going to kill. We are going to dismantle Nigeria. We are going to stop Nigeria. We, if after this court now, so they, all of them will go and sleep. That to show you that there, there is something that these people don't want to tell you. And I'm going to show you people a video of one stupid non-entity. And I don't know why our people are believing in such a thing. Now, let me show you people this so that you people will not say, hey, baby, my boys, I will just trying to, I will trying to push uh, the video a little bit back because they are falling before then we say community standard because these people facebook with their with their problems i will show you people how they are falling then i will i will come more front so that you people will see maka you know our own with a show with a play you go the show with a plan with the show they are falling and they will keep on falling the day I got Pastor Simon Aka, that day he got nada than any guy Bozana. Now see, see how they are falling. Eh? Eh? What? If you get, if you get, one go to more do that is working with Simon Aka. I don't want to show the. Oh, I don't want to show the. Oh, the uh, where is he? Where is he? Go there now. Bring him out. Where? I just uh, man, I take permission before you do. Yeah, take permission. Oh, okay. I know. See him, go see him. So, okay. Okay. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. You will see that thing they are wearing on their mouth. Oh, 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 you see that black thing they are putting on their mouth? They're using to cover their mouth. You see I'm there. Am I not lying? That black thing, that ma uh, mask they used to cover their mouth. You see I'm. Eh uh -huh. <laughs> In the play, in the show. 21. <laughs> Uh, man, sir. Let, let me show you the account for now. From there, I put a command to say, I jam out. If you know the if you know the account, that place they, they, they are ranting, talking on Facebook. Eh, 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 they are falling. Hey, you see that place? They are sitting, talking yeah. a sort of rubbish. Confirm, confirm. Confirm, confirm. 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 
Simon won the struggle to put in place. But as well, I don't want. But the problem won't we lose, Madam Azoka. Hey, shut up your mouth. Great people of Biafra, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You know, I always tell my people that I don't believe in superstitions. I don't believe in juju. If their juju is working, why are they why are their men falling? Why? And uh, some of you that are believing, you know, I, I also believe in that kind of uh, concocted story before. I did believe on that when I was living in Biafra land. I was also thinking that Indian have juju. And we have, we still have a lot of people today, they are still thinking that it's a juju in Indian. No. All this thing is just some lies, some stories we, we heard by then, but they are not real. They are not real. There is nothing like juju in Indian. They are not real. If it's they are real, Indian have the best hospital as it stands today. India have the best, India have one of the, their system are growing so fast. Indian have, I don't know, they manufacture a lot of things in India. So if Indian have juju, why are they manufacturing all those things? So I want you people to forget all those lies that we have you know, we grow up with all these lies. I am part of that by then. But as I came here in Europe, I begin to understand But why some people will say that uh, they went to India to make juju. They went to India to bring juju. All those things is a lie. There is nothing like that. There is none. There is none. So, and, uh, and uh, because of that stories they told us when we were young, Whenever we heard about Indian, we say they are doing juju. There is nothing like juju monnemono. Forget about all this nonsense that people are lying every single day. Simon e birima. Azoka. Nelio febu. Rabbit chas. Madano yibo. Bridget okafo. They are all the same. Now you understand. I greet you all for listening. This is what I have for you people today. Great people of Biafra. I still remember Mazo Ken Naokechu, known as the Biafran child in Wachineke. The general, from me, from here, it is good afternoon. Till we see again. Ndewunu.